is he doing fine? He no need cover. I eh, me. Calm down. No be saying yeah, the user to do fine para. Who the user do fine para? So ya yeah, were any. Popular Nigerian human AI robot personality, better known as Jatrolita or Javis, has been receiving advice, urging her to cut ties with Pella before he ruins her career. Earlier on October 18, 2024, the content creator who recently graduated from Ambrose Ali University opened up about why she has not been creating AI robot content for a while now. In the viral video, Jadrolita revealed she was forced to take a break from portraying Javis after developing a jaw tumor. While revealing she will be undergoing surgery soon to remove the tumor, the TikTok content creator promised her fans she would be back in no time. Not long after, Pella shared a video claiming that Javis's surgery will cost about 30-something million naira and they have opened a GoFundMe for her fans and the public to donate to her. Unfortunately, a dentist immediately reacted and exposed them, claiming the surgery wouldn't cost up to a million naira in Nigeria. Both Jadrolita and her boyfriend are trying to scam Nigerians. As you can imagine, things didn't go down well as many began calling Jadrolita and Pella unprintable names, some lamenting that Pella was a bad influence and ruining Javis's career. Others began advising the university graduate to dump Pella, who is illiterate, before he completely destroyed her career. Is Pella killing Jadrolita's career? By how Nigerians are about mouthing the rumored lovebirds, do you think their romance will stand the test of time? Hello guys, it's Tiko here for African Glitz. Eyo! What? Music! Eyo! If you're just joining, you're welcome. If you're just joining, you're welcome. Oh, stop! No, no, stop! I will, I will change that for you. I will send it for you, you know the year what? I will let me remove this thing. See, am I playing with you? Okay, am I playing you. with you? Thank you. Okay, if I did not change it, you not know that I'm not playing. Popular TikToker Habib Hamzat, better known as Pella, is the biggest content creator rocking and ruling the Nigerian TikTok space today. Many would easily liken the Gen Z creator to a comedian, going by the thousands of people who love his laughter medicine. But the 19 year old born and raised in the Korodu begs to differ, insisting that he is a streamer, gamer, and influencer. Inspired by Kai Senat, Phanom, I Show Speed, and Duke, the content creator launched his career in 2021. Less than two years later, Pella gained prominence on the Chinese social media platform for his sarcastic and hilarious content. Also known for his braggadocious personality and poor spoken English, Pella would often be seen dancing shirtless or in horrendous outfits, sparking reactions among his fans. The TikToker is also known for impersonating characters, often wearing a dress with his face covered in powder. <laughs> While you may not find this content funny, the TikToker show has millions of Gen Z fans who go wild in excitement whenever it goes live. Pella's popularity grew in March 2024 when Nigerian Canadian rapper Dax joined him on a live session. Barely three years on TikTok, the creator now boasts over 5.6 million followers. According to reports, he is one of the wealthiest TikTokers in Nigeria. While speaking with Pulse TV in May of 2024, the teenager revealed that he is the first Nigerian to get over 50,000 viewers on TikTok live stream. Currently, Pella holds the highest viewed stream in Africa with 76,000 views. Unsurprisingly, even heavyweight entertainers such as Olamide, Kiss Daniel, Tiwa Savage, and Davido are all rushed to go live with the Gen Z TikToker. With much success attained at such a young age, Pella doesn't seem pressed about furthering his education. He made this loud and clear in a video where he claimed to be seeking a first class graduate as his assistant partly trolling the idea that doing well at school doesn't guarantee success. I need a first class student. I, want, I need a PA. So, I need a first class student. You bring your certificates. You must get A, A, A. A, 1, A, 1, A, 1 on your... On your... To the point you... Uh, educational... Uh, uh, educational person. I need this. Please. If you can... You send me your certificates. I will go through this. I will know... Yes, PA. No worry. If, if bank work no work for you, if uh, you, uh, you will enjoy yeah, this is no bikini. You go enjoy you ready. 
I need you now. Send me a, a, a test. If your if your if your kidney is completed, please you can be my PA. Don't worry. I'll take care of your bills. I'll take care of your everything. More recently, the TikTok sensation has been appearing on live streams with a fast-rising human AI robot, Jadolita, formerly known as Jarvis. The equally popular TikTok star, whose real name is Amadou Elizabeth Aminata, rose to prominence in 2022 after many got excited over her exceptional and brilliant content niche, which has never been done in Nigeria. Jadolita is an impression of Alita, the protagonist in the 2019 Hollywood sci-fi movie Alita Battle Angel. As you may have guessed, Jadolita's unique online personality has been a magnet. Besides attracting over 3.5 million followers, it also attracted the likes of Pella, who started to live stream with her occasionally. When Pella and his management, City Plug, noticed that viewers love seeing them together, they launched his comedy series, Pella's Palava, where he often collaborates with Jadolita. Besides making scenes from classic Nollywood movies, there are videos of Pella teaching Javis how to dance, sometimes displaying PDA, trolling her and even begging her to date him and occasionally trying to kiss her. It's only a matter of time before fans begin to ship a romance, insinuating that their relationship has gone beyond professional and that love is undoubtedly in the air. In May 2024, during an interview with Pulse TV, Pella debunked rumors about being in a relationship with Javis, claiming they were just colleagues. In June of the same year, during an interview with BBC Pigeon, Javis' father friend zoned the teenager, claiming he is a good friend and they continue to collaborate because their fans love viewing them together. Uh -huh. It's nice. I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pella to say, I'm a very, very good friend. I'm online and offline. In, in, I don't have to people. And whatever we do together is to explore more and make our people and fans stay happy. However, in August 2024, Pella started calling the university-trained accountant Baby. And just like that, the internet decided they wouldn't be fooled anymore by the duo's denials. As Pella and Jarvis appeared to have become an item, brands became interested in them and paid them for movie promotions, activities, and more. After months of speculation about the nature of their relationship, the pair further filled the narration in October 12, 2024 at the Pulse Influencer Awards ceremony. Pella won two awards at the event, TikTok Influencer of the Year and Next Gen Influencer of the Year. While on stage to receive the second award, Pella invited Jadolita to join him where he handed her the award plaque and dedicated it to her. As Aminata came on stage and hugged him, Pella stole a quick kiss from her and blushed excitedly. Of course, many of their fans took this rare moment between the content creators as the long-awaited confirmation that they are together. Another time the pair filled the narration was on October 15 after they joined Kiss Daniel on the set of his current project. During their visit, Jarvis looked shy and uncomfortable around the Twe Twe crooner. And when he gave her a peck on her cheek, she immediately ran to be with Pella. Perhaps this was a way of letting Kiss Daniels know that she was already taken. Surprisingly, many Nigerians didn't take it well. Critics expressed disappointment that the fresh graduate has lost her way, hanging out with Pella. One day, we will discuss how this lady reduced herself from a viral content creator who broke through a completely new and unique niche to a mere toy paraded by Pella up and down. Some expressed concerns that 19-year-old Pella was using the 22-year-old to grow his career and TikTok page while slowly losing her popularity and identity. Some trolls were not even kind, claiming that Javis and Pella were not a good match. A week after, during a BBC Yoruba interview, Pella responded to backlash that Javis's branding had changed since she started hanging out with him. Pella said he is not using Jadrolita and that she is not using him either. Further, during the October 23 interview, Pella revealed that he does have romantic feelings for Jadolita, but when he expressed it to her, she thought it was joking. And when she realized that Pella was serious about his feeling, Jadolita turned him down, citing the 3-year age difference between them. The 19-year-old TikToker said he had no problem dating Aminata because he is not a kid. Also, speaking about the keys they shared at Pulse Influencer Award Night, the TikToker said it was a mistake. It was a peck that accidentally became a kiss. While all this was happening, Javis fans lamented that she no longer posts her original content. 
Once again, they blamed Popella for pushing Jarvis away from her craft and career. It was at this point that Jadrolita opened up about her health battles. In a viral video, Aminata explained that she stopped posting the AI content because she has a tumor growing on her jawline. At first, the TikTok staff thought the swelling was a dental problem, but after seeing a doctor, she was diagnosed with a benign tumor. Javis promised fans that she had been scheduled for surgery to remove the tumor and once she had recovered, she would be back on social media full-time. I was told that I have a tumor, not a, a tumor, yet. Oh, we really get so, me, me, I was in his teeth problem, but not teeth. Yes. The doctor said it's a tumor in my jawline. So, the last time I went, they went to remove something from me, so like they opened it and took from it to kind of test what kind of tumor it is before we go for the main surgery. So, I'm not going for the main surgery, but I heard that the result is out, so let's see. I just pray it's not that bad. Not long after, Pella took to social media to give an update on Aminata. He revealed that the surgery would cost about 30 million naira. He also revealed that they have opened a GoFundMe and he has donated an undisclosed amount but they would need fans and the public to help them reach their goal. I want to tell Lovizé. Come on! See your mouth. We need help. Lovizé, I need help bro. Me, I guess money. Me, I don't get, I don't get the money. Do a lot of sin for that's a tumor. So, the money where they want you to switch that tumor is about... That's something million. That's something The solicitation for funds would lead to an unfortunate dragging just after a dentist on the X app argued that the requested amount was excessively high. The healthcare professional claimed that the surgery, including tests, biopsy, admission charges, and feeding, would cost less than 1% of the requested donation at his center. Not to be a spoiler, but this so called surgery cost about 200k in my center. Adding tests, biopsy, admission charges, and feeding. It's not up to 500k, talk less of a million. This is a dirty December fundraising, that's all I can say, he wrote. Another user supporting this claim mentioned that similar to more surgery at the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital, Lasuth, cost approximately 405,000 naira last year, further implying that Javis and Pella were trying to scam Nigerians. The controversy sparked a broader discussion on social media about the transparency and ethics of crowdfunding for medical treatments. Other people expressed shock that the content creators inflated the cost. 30 million for surgery! Even BBL doesn't cost that much. <laughs> what do I know? To transplant head when no correct self no suppose enter 30 million, one ex-user wrote. Many further claimed Pella had been a bad influence on Javis, recalling how she had never been in the middle of a controversy until she started interacting with Pella. Some suggested that the inflated medical bills must have been Pella's idea. But Pella was having none of it. The TikToker immediately made a video claiming it was joking and that it was not his fault that some people took him seriously. Pella said Javis is doing fine financially and he too doesn't need a cover from anyone. Javis also in the video confirmed that Pella was joking. Ah no, listen to me, oh. hey yo, listen to me. Yes, I am in live video. Wait, if even if they escape on live video, I'm going to be putting live video. Because that live video I did, I'm not talking the joke joking there. There are comments as I see, so I come to joke with the comments and so say, ah, hey oh, get it. Javis is doing fine. He don't need copper, I hey, got me. Calm down, not be saying yeah, they use her to do fine para. Who they use her to do fine para? So yeah, we're ready. Now Javi be this. She doing fine. Can you see? Talk. Ah, you two they do like Cody. Do it. Ah. Actually, I'm doing fine. And whatever he said on live stream, I think he was just cruising with his people. Yeah, I do I could see with my people. We are my people. I come and say, oh come on. I'm gonna take her. I move the But once again, the video only set Pella up for another round of dragging. Many claimed that if the dentist had not called them out, they would have gone ahead with cashing out big from the medical bill front. Also lashing at the loquacious TikToker, they said Bella has no stees and zero composure. If they have to describe him, he gives Agbero vibes. Some even wondered why he spoke the way he did while expressing worry that it was not a good influence on Jatrolita's brand. 
Some even expressed disappointment that a university graduate like her would be dating someone like Pella. On Instagram, a user wrote, That girl doesn't deserve this boy. He's a downfall. One added, That Javis girl is messing up her craft with this dude. One also asked, Is this how this boy talks? Or is this just a social media thing? Ha! It better be social media, Sha. Because how did she get into a relationship with him, I beg? Another user advised, Javis, dissociate yourself from this guy. You go cry waiting past blood, though. Your identity is gradually disappearing into his. One user, however, defended Pella. You all hate this boy for being uneducated when he didn't have the same opportunity as everyone else. It's called classism. You all are some classist, self-righteous individuals. Ew! Wow. At this point, we must ask, will all this disapproving comments and advice end Javis and Pella's romance? Do you still think they are together or pretending to be because it's good for their brand? Do you agree that Jatrolita's association with Pella is killing her career? Finally, do you think Javis will heed the unsolicited advice of Nigerians? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.